lymphatic system has no pump. It relies on movement. And right now, every cell in my body is moving. It's detoxifying its toxins from cellular metabolism, and it's incorporating nutrients in our body. Oh, again, the lymphatic system basically is a system that connects our body parts together by way of tubes and, and pathways that I said earlier has no pump. Like our heart has, is its pump and it has a series of blood vessels that transports fluids and nutrients to other body parts. After those nutrients are, are burned up, then it's the lymphatic system that takes away uh, all the toxins of cellular metabolism. And because it has no pump, it requires our movement. So all I'm doing right now, and I've been talking, I've been bouncing, I've been exercising every cell in my body. I can make any movements that I want. I can close my eyes and I kind of get myself warmed up. I don't want to start stretching before I get my body warmed up. And we all can experience the time that we have a Charlie horse or a tight muscle and just by warming it up or massaging it, or right now, I'm massaging those tired muscles. I'll lean into a body part, and I'll feel some tension on the back part of my leg, and I'll bounce it a little bit. So I'm literally massaging that. I'm literally massaging that area. And again, if I wanted to incorporate a cardiovascular workout as well as my yogic workout, then I simply get my heart rate up by being more aggressive to my bounce. So I can do this for the next 10 minutes and bounce away and, and I can go into an aerobic bounce. Now those of us who labor over a computer all day long find ourselves slumping shoulders. Now as in, I've had those dental slumping shoulders over the years and I used to have a curvature back but after a very series of uh, exercises and by stretching on the bouncer sizer system I've been able to uh, work at that. Uh, that occupational hazards that wants me to have a curved back. So when I finish uh, a patient, I'll come in here and I'll stretch those back muscles uh, by simply turning around and simply bouncing that neck, bouncing those muscles that are kind of curving the other way. And I can kind of lean into it and I can just bounce like this, closing my eyes, letting those muscles become more and softened as I bounce like butter in the warm sun as I bounce those muscles, correcting the curvature of the spine. And with every bounce now, I'm feeling that massage. I'm feeling those muscles that are resisting this curvature. I'm feeling them kind of give way. And I feel more flexible. And it's so important to have that spine be flexible. The yogis always emphasize the importance of the malleability and the stretchability of the spine.